mount my bookshelves, I'm going to have to screw um, the support pieces into the studs onto this plaster and lab wall. The bad thing is you don't really want to just stick screws willy-nilly. You want to actually try to get into a stud and support the weight. So what I've, I've done is I went up into the attic and found an area uh, that's going to be wall. And I measured it. It looks like it's going to be 16 inches from uh, each center of the, of the supports. Um, old houses can also be 24 inches, so I wanted to see what it is, and then really old houses can be anything they wanted to put up, just stuck it up there and whatever. So what I'm going to do is, I know there's a support here in the corner. There's probably one over here doing the fireplace too, I'm not even sure about that 100%. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark from here over about 16 inches. I'm just going to put a line, and then I'm going to take measure from that line over to 16 inches and put another line. And then I'm going to have to take a small drill bit and drill around that line and see if I've got a stud there. Because a stud will actually drill all the way through, whereas a piece of lighting will just drill through and then stop. It won't, ever, it won't keep going. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, first thing I did was I went in there and measured my 16 inches um, across from the corners. And I started drilling holes, and you can see right here, I really had a problem finding the stud, and I finally found it. And then I did a couple of test holes even higher up to make sure I wasn't hitting a, a horizontal stud or something. And um, so I just marked where my studs were, and then I just took that pink uh, um, drywall, you know, paste, joint compound, whatever you want to call it, just patch stuff, and, uh, and marked where my studs were. I did the same thing on that side, and then I will probably go up to the top, drop a string or something, and, uh, and mark my lines towards the top, too. Uh, this board right here, you'll notice I just, I just put a board in there. Uh, the floor is actually angled downwards, so it's lower in the front than it is in the back. So I had to cut it at an angle. Um, I put this temporarily in place. I'll take it back down. But I've got it screwed into the hearth where it's, where it's going to be when I actually put it all together. Um, so I could have my measurements for my box down here on the floor because I wanted to be um, as accurate as I could because I want this box to be right up against this and I'm, when I get done, I'm going to screw this into the box so nothing will move side to side. So it will be really good at the start. Okay, this is where Kevin is at right now. It's been a couple of hours, but he's trying to get everything exactly right and stable for the bottom. Okay, it's taken way too long, but I have a very firm foundation to build all the shelves that's going to go up. It's going to support so much weight, and I wanted to make sure this was really good and strong. Um, it took so long because the walls are all uneven, and the baseboard is not different heights, and the floor is kind of off. So it took a little while to get all the different measurements right. But it, now it's level, it's even. Um, brought it up to the top of the baseboard, so I should be able to just lay the shelf uh, right on top of it. shelves and I cut the ends they'll fit in there and this one's bowed where I, I cut the end on that one so that's bowed but it will fit in there yeah see oh yeah it's perfect and I'll glue and I'll put screws in here too to hold it in really good but yeah that works perfect got all the shelves cut now for the same length or all the, the same length um, I've got my notches of course all cut out I'm test fitting these two pieces to make sure they fit okay I went through and sanded just the rough edges on the on each side and the, and the edges of all these so there won't be um, little splinters sticking out everywhere. And what I'm going to do is, now that I know these two fit, I'm going to pop it back out and put some glue down and put two or three screws in in each one of them so it won't actually pull out. Because that's the weakness of these things is they'll, they'll pull away, but they won't really pull down, you know, but you're held in spot. So 
uh, pull these out, put glue in there, put, drill some pilot holes and, and screw them in place. Now I'm going to start the other side. I've got a couple of them in. I think it'll be easier if I work them one at a time as I go up, um, you know, get the bottom two for stability and then work my way up. Because I think if I do one side together and then come back and do this side, I think it'll be really hard to get them all lined up and fight with them. So I'm going to do these bottom two and uh, put glue and screw in those and then uh, I'll start doing them both sides again. Check in on you. Same old, same old. The screws, the screws. It, it, I don't think I could have done this one side and the other side. Oh, really? It actually works pretty good because I can get it pretty tight in there, put glue like on the top half and push. Right. It pushes the glue down with it and, and I still have to wipe off a little bit, but it's not that bad. It gets glue on the floor? Yeah. So to wipe it off. Kevin is measuring the plywood to put to attach to the back of the shelf so that we can paint it and it's all one unit. You won't be able to see the, the back of the wall. We cut the plywood for the top half of the bookshelf and Kevin's uh, pre-drilling and then he'll put a screw in these. I okay, put these mounting strips up on the back to have something to, since it's going all the way up to the ceiling, I want to be able to attach it to the wall, not just have it sitting on the floor. So I put these strips, they're into the studs in the wall, which I found later, earlier, um, with drilling little piles. And then I attach another piece up on the top. So those are firmly against the wall. Then when I put this piece up against there, I'll tunnel in the, the, uh, the shelving sides into there, and maybe even up through the shelf, depending on how close they are, but I can get the sides uh, into the middle here and then put the back in some screws too, so it won't move anywhere. Right, and the reason they look like this, we took the old bookshelf, and I'm trying to use as much of those as I can for scrap. Um, so these will be covered up anyway, so it doesn't matter what they look like, but these are from the old bookshelf, just pieces from that. We got the bookshelf up against the wall. We just need to tighten it all in. Once I get the bottom screwed in, I'll take some screws and put it right through the sides of this, back right through the main piece of wood, right into that wood in the back, so it'll hold in place. I'm not gonna go through, I mean, I'll probably put some through the plywood because it's kind of thin, uh, but I will put a couple through the main wood so I'll make sure it's really good and sturdy. 